Hello awesome and beautiful people. Thank you so much for coming by today. Welcome to my channel. This is Shesha SJ. I am so happy that you are here today. Today we are going to make a DIY and the inspired item that we are going to use is a pine cone. So we are going to make a um, a craft or a DIY from pine cone to put in our Christmas tree so I don't put mine on Christmas tree yet because it's not yet Christmas so I will put them on and I will put them on my video again on my upcoming videos when I put everything up on my Christmas tree so hopefully you'll come back and yeah let's get started here we go <music> Alright, so with this particular project, you are going to need a, of course, the number one is the pine cone. There you go, they're kind of big size of a pine cone. So you might be able to find bigger than this, but this is what I have right now. And you are going to have this tiny little flower pots. And I have this foam scatter. And our number one ingredient would be, not would be the number one, but one of the ingredient that we'll make into a, like a real snow is Mod Podge. If you have a different kind of glue, use it, you can use it. And of course, a baking soda. And yeah, let's get started. It'll be super, super easy, so bear with me. First, you are going to make or have a space area where you won't be able to have a mess on your mat and you can use magazine or anything newspaper or whatever that protects your mat you can use them okay so now next is you're going to use or grab your mod podge or glue you can also dip your pine cone to some bowl but what I'm doing right now is I want my snow look like would be on the end of my pine cone so that's why I'm doing this you grab your bowl and you pour your baking soda in here be generous with your baking soda and all you have to do is you just dip your pine cone in there okay so I will show you how I do it closer look so don't be scared all you have to do is just dip it So that should look like that, okay? So you just let it dry, set it aside, and let it dry. All right, so right now I'm trying to dry our pine cone. Look at that, guys. Isn't it beautiful? It looks like a snow. It's pretty, guys. There's like, look at that closer look. Isn't it pretty? Anyway, let's head to decorate our pot. So what I'm trying to do is right now I want, I have this one. So I'm going to wrap this one around with this. I don't know what this is called, but <laughs> you know what that is. So I'm going to start and you can start at the bottom. You can also start at the top, but I'm going to start at the top right now. So All right, so I think it's almost done. So I am just trying to cut this one in here so I can hide this row just like that all right so that is my jar 
So I think it is done. So right now I am just going to add something in my pot. So I'm going to add something tiny little beads. Looks like a little tiny snowflakes or it's not a snowflakes but it's like a little beads like almost color like a snow. So I'm going to add that in here on my pot. So I'm just going to put it randomly. <laughs> So that's it. That is how it looks. Super cute. And we are going to put our pot down here, our snow pine cone. Look how cute that is. It looks like a snow. So I put this star from the foam scatter, the one that I showed you guys earlier. So this one, that's the one I use for my star. The foam scatter and that's how my pine cone looks like this is it there you go our pine cone christmas tree are done So next we are going to make is going to be a, a gnome from Pinecone. So we are aiming to make the one that has a beard and no beard, all right? So you need a paint, this paint, a thread or somehow. This is what I have right now. I don't know what it is called, but it's kind of stretchy. Buttons, felt, and a facial hair you can grab this guys since it's after halloween you can have this one real fast and it's really really nice i got this at goodwill and it is two bucks yes don't forget your glue gun first is we are going to make the gnome that has no beard so first we are going to make this gnome that has no beard but it's going to be a pretend beard. So all you have to do is you are going to grab a paint. This is what I have right now. So we are just going to use of what we have, right? So all you have to do is you just have to paint, brush it or dip it. But for me, I'm just going to paint it how I want it. to do is just paint the, the front one because this is going to be the facial area of our gnome though you just leave this area not painted okay so half is painted half is not so all we have to do is we just have to wait till it dries okay all right so while this pine cone that has no beard are drying we are going to make our gnome this one is kind of like busted so much, but we will cover it up and make it look pretty, okay? What I have is this one, the facial hair. This is like, you get this from Halloween time, so it'll be nicer. So what I'm trying to aim right now is I'm going to cut this area to be the gnome's beard. So that would be perfect. All right, so let's put that aside. Since our beard is done, we are going to work on to our gnome's hat. And what I'm trying to do is I'm just going to fold it just like that. And I'm going to form it like a cone, cone one. So
just like that like an angle of a triangle but then it is curved downward on the top so you can use a button like this or you can use a beads I am just lucky I have this kind of beads because it looks like a nose you know so I'm going to play around and I want you to see what I'm doing okay <laughs> So I just cut this corner down here too, so I can tuck in my gnome's nose down there, okay? And there you go, my gnome is almost looking pretty. And all you have to do is you just have to add your gnome's hat like that. There is my pine cone gnome right there. Cute, huh? And there you go. It looks like he had a nose too. Super pretty. All right, so the next one, this gnome would be wearing a pink hat. So all you have to do when you have this kind of size all you have to do is you just have to fold them like so and you just have to cut it like how you want it the height of your gnome's hat and then all you have to do is just you have to make an angle like that so this is what you're gonna do you cut a stretchy band and cut and then cut it and glue them over here you can always use a little tiny piece so it's even more secured and there you go and all you have to do is you just have to close it just like that and you can start closing your gnome's hat all the way to the back of your gnome's hat. There you go. There's your gnome's hat. You can always add a filler if you want to, but I'm not going to. Okay, so all you have to do is you just have to put your gnome's hat like that. So it should be facing like that, like the angle here and then angle over on that pointy on the left side. Okay, and all you have to add is a gnome's nose. And I think I'm going to use this pink one button or bead right here and I think that's it all you have to do is just secure your gnome's nose right here and then glue it up glue all the way to the back use your felt so then your felt will be the one to find a way to where to hold on to the pine cones stuff all right
so with our next project we're going to make a little baby or a little kid gnome so hopefully it works out for me it'll be simple and we need a pine cone and a tennis table somehow i got this from the dollar store and i have this kind of felt and i think that's it that's all we need all right so first is you are going to grab your tennis table somehow ball and you can just make that goes in there and i'm just going to use my glue gun to make a hole in it so hopefully it works which is it does so that is perfect i'm just making my glue gun make a hole in it so all right so it's in there all i have to do is just put that ball in there just like so and glue it of course so it holds it so put that inside in there all right so once it's in there all you have to do is we are going to create a hat super cute hat okay so I'm going to make this one even so it should look like that okay like that Is super perfect all you have to do is you will cut a piece and then you just have to tie it like this so your child has like a little bit of scarf can use this as their shoes and then next is you are going to put a little hand or a little arm so you just have to cut an angle of rectangular and it doesn't need to be perfect so and then you just have to tuck that in right there and they have a little hand all right so this is how it goes for me you can do however you want on yours, but mine is I'm going to do it this way. And there you go. There's my little babies. All right, so it's super simple. And then there you go. All right, so right now we are going to make a pine cone snowman. First, you are going to need a pine cone and somehow decorative for your pine cone for your snowman's hat and this one i got this one from you know halloween trick-or-treating and this is what we're going to use for our, for our snowman's hat and a fabric 
and of course this tennis ball. So first what we are going to do is we are going to work on our snowman's hat. So how I do this is that with this little slope down here that goes inside area with the slope right here, this is going to be for the head so then it holds for the head of our snowman pine cone, okay? So this should be the closest down here. So I'm going to glue this first in this area, okay? And once it is glued, I'm going to cut this round just like so. And it doesn't need to be perfect. I just want that so then it holds our snowman's hat. And then you just fold it in and fold it in all the way in. So what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to roll this so they even out the side of our snowman's hat is I think it should goes like this. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is I'm just going to roll this all the way in. I kind of like want this piece right here just like that and just roll it and roll it and close it okay So now we have our snowman's hat, but then we have to make a little circle down there. So what I'm doing right now is I just traced this one. So I just traced it. So what you can do to make it faster is you can always glue this like that. And that's what I'm just trying to do right now. Okay. So just like that and then you can start cutting it. Alright, so once you reach it, so that would be the, the top or the back one and then you can cover it up again and glue it just like that so you can create a nice snowman's hat. And it should go in there and you just follow that angle. Always make sure that it's almost the same color. There you go. So now you have a nice and awesome hat of your snowman. Okay. You can also add a to make it look fancier. So that's how I do with my snowman's hat. Just like that. Ta-da! Like that. And then you can just glue this like this. You can also add them like so. There you go, you got a nice 
snowman's hat. So what I have is this little tiny piece. I just build them up, goes like that. Oops, just goes like that and tuck them in and put them on our snowman's hat. Is my snowman's hat super cute okay now let's build our snowman here we go first is you are going to put the head of your snowman down here so I hope I can fit it somehow just like so <laughs> I'm going to use this one to be my snowman's scarf. All right, so since I kinda need a nose of my snowman, so what I did is I'm just gonna cut a piece of angle down here. going to put the hat down there in the middle so right now guys I'm going to use this gold ish one here for my snowman's ornament to hold it so once it is going to be on the tree they have a thing and it's not going to be by the ball because I don't want that ball be pulled out so right now I'm just going to use my sharpie as well and I hope it turns out right because I'm not good in drawing. Oh Lord have mercy on me. So. Oh, look at that. I get so lucky, okay. <laughs> so let's finish this up with a smiley face on my snowman. Start in the middle, they said, so I'm starting up in the middle. And there is my snowman. How cute is that? All right, so I have a pine cone snowman. So next, what we are going to put on is just a stick so it makes it perfectly looks like a snowman oh it flies away so I'm just going to cut a little piece down here and a little piece down here so I'm just going to glue it here There's my snowman. All right, so the last and not the least that we are going to make is going to be an owl. All right, we are going to make an owl from this. So first, what you are going to do is, you gotta have a string. I like to have a string. This one is what we're gonna use for a string because that's what I want. So this 
this is how it should look just like that so we just tie it okay there there is that string for that to hold on a tree next is you are going to have a felt i have this color if you have a dark brown you can use it but i'm going to use the light brown ish kind of tan and a of course i don't throw any kind of piece so a black one an orange check that out i use that on my snowman's nose and a blue i don't have a plain blue but i have this other side blue and a yellow so right now we are just going to estimate so first we are going to make our owl's eye so this could be our owl's eye i promise guys i'm not really good in drawing but i will cut stuff like somehow <laughs> okay i'm just going to make this just like a round piece for my owl's eye like it shouldn't be perfect so it should be like this okay just like so so i forgot we need a white so first is you have to glue this to the area where you want it let's glue that in there and then glue that into that area okay now we can start cutting now are going to glue that again to a yellow color right so black and then white and then yellow okay all right so there you go there is your other eye of your owl. I hope it's not going to be too big. <laughs> so next is you're going to grab your blue one. So you have to make this one a little bit bigger, okay? You can make a little somehow like that on the eye of your owl just on the blue not on the yellow all right so there is our owl's eye look how cute that is next we are going to glue this on our pine cone there you go so there is our owl and what we need to do is we are going to cut a triangle for our owl's beak an our owl and it cute and then we have to make the wings down here and check this out i got an owl i got an owl <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, I'm going to show you everything that I made today from pine cone ornaments. Okay, so here we go.
And that's it. What do you think about that? Well, I really do enjoy that you stayed with me and I really do enjoy making some DIY and craft. So hopefully that could help in your inspiration on for your, you know, putting up on your little tree or your big old trees. So yeah, come back next time and see you soon and hopefully that you will come back again and again well thank you so much for watching and this is shasha sj see you soon bye